Today, I'm going to show you how to sum values by color in Excel. So, grab your coffee and let's get straight into it. So, here's what we've got. A list of 10 hardworking employees with their hours worked neatly organized across columns B through F. But here's the twist. We've color coded these cells based on whether they were working in yellow, sick in red, or on holiday in blue. Now, our task is to calculate the number of hours worked for each day by category. There is no current inbuilt Excel function we can use to achieve this. So that's where our trusty VBA function comes in. Let's take a look at how we create it. First, if you don't have a developer tab available on your ribbon, right click on any one of the existing tabs and select customize the ribbon. Over on the right hand side, check the box for the developer tab and press OK. Now, to access the Visual Basics editor window, where we'll insert a VBA code, go to the Developer tab and click the Visual Basics icon, or use the keyboard shortcut Alt-F11. In the project window, right-click on one of the objects within the workbook you want to add this function to. Come down to Insert and select Module. I've copied the code for this function in the description below. Let's paste it in and take a deep dive into what it's doing. The first thing to note is that this is a function procedure, not a sub-procedure as you may be familiar with if you've come across VBA previously. We've named this function sum colors, and it's designed to sum values in cells based on their background color. We start by defining two arguments for the function, sum range and match color, which will set both of the data types to as range. The sum range is the range of cells we want to sum the values of based on the color. In our example, this is the range of hours worked by our employees. Match color is the color we want to match. As the output of our sum's color function will be a number, we'll set this data type to as double. Next, we'll create a variable called cell and set this data type to range. This variable is then used in the loop later on to store the color of that cell. We need to create one final variable and I'll call it my color. This needs to be set to the data type long as the interior.color property returns a long integer value. We need to assign a value to the my color variable we've created above. When we use this function in our spreadsheet, the match color argument should contain a single cell with the color we want to sum the values for. For example, cell A15 is yellow. So this will be the value assigned to the my color variable by using the interior.color functionality. Then we iterate through each cell in the sum range using the for each loop. For each cell in the sum range, we compare its background color accessed via the cell.interior color with the match color. If the colors match, we add the cell's value to our running total, which is then stored in the variable sum colors. This then returns the cumulative value once the loop is complete for the sum range. We can now close our VBA editor and use our new function. But before we do that, if this video has provided you value so far, I'd really appreciate you giving it a like as it means a lot to my small channel. Now, let's head back and create our function. To use this VBA function, I'll click in cell B15 and type equal sum. A list of all the functions with sum within them appear and the second one down is the one we've just created. I'll select that and press tab to open the function. As this is one we've created, there is no floating helper window which appears. Instead, come up to the formula bar and just to the left, click the insert function button. This will bring up the function arguments box and that will help us remember which order the arguments need to be completed. The first one is the sum range. And this is the range of hours we want to sum up. So we'll select cells B2 to B11 and press F4 twice to lock the row numbers. The match color argument is the color we want to look for to sum up. So we'll pick cell A15 and this time we need to press F4 three times to lock the column. Click OK and there we have it. The value of the yellow cells above is equal to 74. Now you can simply copy and paste this across all the other rows and columns to return the value for each day and each category. There is one issue with this custom VBA function. 
and that's... If I change this color in cell D10 from yellow to red, the values don't automatically update. To combat this, right click on the worksheet tab and select view code, which will reopen the VBA code editor window for that worksheet. You need to change the object from general to worksheet, which will insert a private subprocedure. Enter the code activesheet.calculate in here and close the window. Now, if we make that change and click away, our values automatically update. And that's a wrap. We've shown you a nifty VBA function to some hours based on cell colors, and we've explained exactly how to use it step by step. It's simple, flexible, and most importantly, saves you time. So go ahead, give it a try on your own Excel projects. Thanks for tuning in. And if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment if you have any questions. And subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks. I'll see you in the next video.